terrariums are an awesome way to bring a chunk of an ecosystem into your room. But they can get extremely expensive. That's why today I'm going to build the best $10 terrarium and the best $1,000 terrarium to figure out if you actually need to go into debt to create one. And to start off, I'm going to purchase the best possible tank for the $1,000 build. So let me drive to PetSmart and... Ooh, these kind of all suck. You see, I have a $1,000 budget, so I'm not going to settle for these tiny PetSmart tanks. Instead, I'm going to go somewhere else to get a way bigger tank for this build. Uh, so yeah, I'm going on Amazon. Well, that's gonna be here in three days. So in the meantime, I have to get a tank for the $10 build. And you see, this is where the problem sort of arises because even the cheapest tank on PetSmart is $20. So instead, I'm gonna have to steal one. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just kidding. What I actually did was went onto Facebook Marketplace where I could buy a bunch of stuff for super cheap. Okay, so I've searched up Terrarium on Facebook Marketplace and I'm not really finding anything good for under $10. I mean, seriously, look at these. This one's $40. Bro, who built this? This thing's trash. It literally just has grass and leaves. $40, that's a scam. Okay, instead I'm gonna search up Jar because I might be able to find something I can use. And oh yeah, these are more in my budget. Okay, this one might work well. Three sort of new jars. They're apparently in excellent condition, but one has a giant crack in it. I don't know if that's excellent. Yeah, I mean, I could probably make like leaf go out of this and stuff. I, I don't know. Let me just go buy it. Okay, so I met up with the guy and gave him the $5 bill, you know. And of course, now I got the jars. Oh, oh, that did not sound good. And because I had multiple jars, I got the idea to build a different biome in each one. Like, what if in this one I built a forest, this one I built a desert, and then in this one I built a lake? I mean, if I built a lake, it'd be more of an aquarium than a terrarium, mm. but, uh, wh whatever. So that's what I planned on doing. And then at the end, I'd be able to compare the $10 biomes with the $1,000 ecosystem to see which was better. Okay, so I'm gonna to create this first jar into a forest and to do that i'm gonna need some basic materials like dirt wood rocks and plants the problem is though that we only have five dollars to turn all of these jars into terrariums and literally just a bag of dirt is over ten dollars <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. But thankfully for me, dirt is actually free if we just, you know, uh, walk outside. Oh yeah, look at this quality dirt right here. Let me just, uh, you know, dig this up. All right, the dirt has been acquired. But before putting it in, I have to make a drainage layer in this jar first because that's just what terrariums need. But thankfully, that can be done easily again by just walking outside and picking up some rocks. All right, I put the rocks in, but now typically you'd use some sort of material like this window screen to separate the drainage layer from the substrate. But of course, window screen is definitely not in our budget, so we're gonna have to think of another alternative. So I did some searching around outside, hoping I could find something. Okay, I guess there's some plastic here. Wait, this could actually work. Have some like Chinese on it. I don't know, <laughs> know what this says, but uh, okay, wait, let me see if I can use this. And as the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's uh, terrarium substrate separator. I poked some holes in the plastic to allow water to pass through and that let me put the dirt on top and there we go the base of the forest terrarium is finished but obviously this is not a forest it's just dirt so in order to make it a forest i needed to add in some decorations which just meant i had to go outside again and pick up more stuff yeah that's kind of what this entire forest build is as you can see we got all sorts of supplies which is gonna allow me to customize my terrarium to my artistic liking and wait look at this plant here the roots on this one looks like it's growing some sort of vegetable or something wait is this like a radish or a green onion wait does it taste like one? Oh. <laughs> oh, it does not taste like one. Anyways, I put the decorations in the build. All right, now time for the grand reveal of this forest. Let's move this down and oh yeah, look at this. Okay, maybe it's not that cool, but at least it looks pretty good for being basically free. Now there's just one more thing to do to finish this little forest, and that's to add some life into it. Now it'd be cool to add like a frog or something in here, but uh, yeah, this is probably not big enough for a frog. So I'm gonna have to settle for something I find outside again. Now to be honest, I'll just set up like an earthworm or something. Oh wait, I see something right there. Wait, do you see that? Oh! Wait, bro, there's a cricket. Okay, wait, this is even better than a worm. So I picked up the cricket and put him into his new home. All right, and the cricket is in there. Can you see it in there? It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. Bruh. The forest was now complete, and to finish off the $10 builds, I still needed to make the desert and a lake, which will be a lot more interesting to build, since I won't be able to just find the materials right outside my house. But before building those, the package for my $1,000 terrarium just arrived, so I'm gonna start building that first. Okay, this is pretty heavy, but I think I got it. There we go. That is the box, you know. So let me open this up, and I swear, if this thing is not 
not already put together, I'm gonna be very mad because I do not want to build this from scratch. Oh no, I don't think this is put together. Yeah, it's definitely not. There's just glass panes here. Okay. There goes two hours probably. Two hours later. <laughs> And along with the tank, I also did buy a bunch of supplies, uh, about $395.87 uh, worth of supplies, which are right here. But to start off the build, we basically got to get rid of all of this stuff, so, uh, ooh. Because the first step for building this terrarium is to put this little water filter chamber thing that I built into it. For this $1,000 build, I'm going all out, and I'm making an entire chunk of the rainforest with a working river running through it. And this will let me filter the water and allow fish to live in there. So, to build this thing, I first sprayed the entire back of the glass with some silicone, which will allow me to put tree branches sticking out on it. To keep the wood in place, I used some spray foam to do some more spraying and finally i stuck a bunch of dirt all along the back so it looked more natural all right look at this thing this thing is actually enormous this is like as tall as me and don't worry about this being ugly right now because later on i'm gonna add a ton of plants here to make this actually look good but for now we're gonna focus on the floor area because right now i'm gonna make this into a river to make it i first glued in a piece of foam to easily separate the land and water areas then i got a ton of rocks and wood to create a natural looking under underwater environment because you know there's usually rocks and wood underwater all right there we go that is done now so let's finish that underwater area look and add some sand in because you know you need sand to make a underwater section Okay, now that the floor and the water portion is done, let's get to the floor and the land portion. For this, I'm going to be mostly using these Lika balls. Honestly, these kind of look like cocoa pebbles, but I think I learned my lesson. Now, to complete this floor area, I need to put a layer of substrate on top of it. But before doing that, I used this pump to do some plumbing and create a tube that will allow the river to actually have a working water flow. Then finally, I added the dirt on top to finish the floor area. All right, now there's just two more things to finish this build. One to add water and two to add plants. And thankfully I can do that first one pretty quickly just like this. So now I wanna test if the water flow actually works to see if we can actually turn this into a river. All right, so let me plug this thing in and this better work. I spent like the past two hours doing this and oh, okay, so it's working, but the water flow is uh, very extreme. That's kind of messing up the sand. Okay, uh, this is just making the water very dirty right now. Can you stop doing that? So to fix the issue, I got some tape to try and make the end of the tube more narrow. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, nope, that is not working. Oh, no, no. Tape, taping it does not work. Oh my God. Now in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have been doing that right next to the power strip, but thankfully my house didn't explode. Anyways, eventually I got the water flow working and the $1,000 terrarium was starting to come together pretty nicely. But since things aren't going too well for this right now, I'm going to take a break and just move on to the $10 terrariums. All right, so we're moving from this beautiful $1,000 build over back to the minuscule $10 builds. And as you know, the forest build is already done. So we're moving on to the desert build now. Now for the drainage layer of this, we can do the same thing we did in the forest and just go get some rocks. But now this is where things get tricky because I can't really just go outside and get sand because I basically live in the middle of not a desert. You know, there's trees outside and stuff. So that means the only way I can get some sand is if I buy it. I don't know if there's actually gonna be any sand under $5 that I could buy. Let me just search it up anyways, and oh, that's not good. And wait, 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 $2, $2 for sand. Oh my gosh, it's not even lying, $3 for sand. Okay, that is actually so good. I can actually get some sand now. Well, uh, I guess let me go to Betco. I'll, I'll be there soon. Thankfully, it was still in stock when I got there, so I bought that, and then I poured it in the jar. Now, similar to the forest terrarium that we built earlier, we're gonna need plants for this desert one. Now, ideally, we get a nice cactus this in this thing i think that looked pretty cool the only problem is uh, as you know our budget is a lacking a little bit okay well maybe there's a chance i can buy a cactus for super cheap cactus near me and yeah thousand dollars 200 for a cactus Wait, wait, there's actually one for one dollar. Wait, what? Okay, wait, this is actually good. I can buy a cactus for one dollar. That fits in our budget. It's at this store called Michael's. I've never even heard of that, but uh, one dollar, I guess I'm going to Michael's. So I went there and they had some absolutely fantastical cacti to choose from. So I got myself this. This massive cactus was only one dollar. Dang, I've like literally never heard of Michael's. There was no cars in the parking lot. Guys, you need to go to Michael's. They got some fantastical deals there. All right, let's get this in 
in here. I'm gonna dig out a little hole with my golden spoon. Don't ask why it's golden. And so I added the cactus in and the desert build was now complete. But to fully finish the terrarium, I once again needed to add life into it. And since I wouldn't be able to buy anything with my 71 cent budget, I got the idea to put a worm in there from outside to act as a sandworm. Cause you know, I didn't really have any other options. All right, let's put this sandworm in his home and there we go. The desert build is now finished. I hope you enjoy your new life, little boy. Huh? Okay, so I was planning on moving straight to building the lake right after this. But you remember how I got this cactus at Michael's or uh, M M Michelle? I don't remember what it was called, but you know how I got this cactus? Well, while I was there, I also got uh, pretty much all the plants we're gonna need for this $1,000 build for a pretty good price. It barely even made a dent in our budget. So I'm gonna go and put these in right now, I guess. And oh shoot. Oh, that is not good. While I was putting all that spray foam on the back, I was supposed to also put these little plant pots there, but I forgot. So this is gonna be a lot harder to put the plants in the bin. But thankfully I'm a genius. And I used my hot glue gun to glue all the plant pots on the back of the wall. Then I was able to put all the plants in the pots. I even got some aquatic plants to put in the water area to fully round off everything in this $1,000 build. Now, some people may say these very obviously black pots put all around the terrarium is ugly. And well, to those people, I say that you are probably right. This is uh, pretty ugly. But I guess this is the downside of the $1,000 build. It's too complex to make. Well, anyways, to complete this terrarium, I needed to add life into it, which I was going to do by adding in fish. But before doing that, I want to finish the $10 terrariums. All right, the first two terrariums are done now we just got to focus on this last one which of course is going to be the lake now i bet some of you have probably been wondering how on earth am i going to turn this into a lake well uh, it's pretty simple actually let me show you how we're going to do it we're just going to take this we're going to take it out to my car buckle it in and drive now you see i figured the best way to make a lake terrarium is to just go to an actual lake and scoop up the sand and water that way i wouldn't have to worry about our lack of money all right i've made it i mean it's not a lake it's a river but but, uh, that's gonna have to do. And this is very embarrassing. I really hope someone doesn't see me trying to pick up this water and put it in my jar. To have serrate around me. No one's near me. It's time to get this water, baby. Give me this water. So, I collected all the water I needed and also scooped up some of the dirt so I could bring it home. So, I added everything in and the lake ended up looking like this. Yeah, uh, not very appealing. Well, there wasn't much I could do. So, anyways, I needed to add life into it. And this was actually gonna be pretty easy because a few videos back, I built a lake ecosystem on my desk. And in that video, I put some albino mystery snails into it. And just recently, they had babies. So, I'm just gonna yoink this guy and put him into his new home. Do you even see it in there? It's there, I think. Wait, no. I think it's there. I can't even tell where it is. I think it might be dead. The $10 builds were all completely finished. But don't leave yet, as now I'm adding the most coolest, epicest, super cool life into the $1,000 build. Guppies. Okay, to you, maybe they're not the coolest fish ever. But to me, I mean, they look pretty cool. They got spots and fins and, okay, you know, let's just add them in. So I put some of this API quick start bacteria in. So it would be safe to add the fish whilst the cycling process took place. And immediately, you could tell they absolutely loved their new home. Well, uh, I can't say that they loved it for sure, but I mean, they were swimming around and stuff, so they probably did. I even turned on the river flow to see how they would react. Most of them seemed pretty annoyed, but one of them kept playing around in it and flinging himself around the river. The $1,000 terrarium and $10 terrariums are now all finished. Are the $10 terrariums better or is the $1,000 terrarium better? And well, the answer is pretty obvious. The $1,000 terrarium is better. But you do gotta remember, this is literally $1,000. Like, literally, you could replace this with a used car, or... Okay, maybe not a car, but two PS5s, a gaming computer, literally a thousand dollars. So, yeah, the final message I have to say in this video is, uh, don't do anything with a thousand dollar terrarium, and also don't do any... Just, just, uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm just gonna go, uh, end this video now. All right, bye. Uh, click the video on the screen. Please subscribe. This is only my sixth ever video on YouTube, and, um, so I'm pretty new to YouTube. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. It shows new creators like me that you like these videos please